How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking down the Omega Shenron with the newly easy aid Kefla. Uh, now, this is definitely one of her harder stages and not because she's necessarily bad for it. It's literally just this first phase here in that... Uh, you can't dodge, and many of the units that make Kefla's teamwork uh, on, on Kale's 200% lead here require dodge. So, we're going to trust that Vados doesn't take a super attack here. Yeah, there we go. So, we get 60k on that first normal, but that's alright. Um, because she does lower attack, which means she... Yep, there we go. So, now she's tanking after that. So, it's literally like that... Turn one, frame one is basically the what determines the outcome of the rest of this fight. Uh, now, for Kefla, we were able to get a few extra orbs here, which means we get the extra super. Can we proc the third? No, we can't. Okay, but we're good. So, yeah. Like I said, it's literally just that turn one, frame one that can be scary. But then after that, you're good. Like, look, you know, we're taking nothing on Kefla post super. And even Kale, to a degree, as long as you've got a few attack lowers in, she'll eat a super post super. You just don't want her in slot one. But once we get beyond this turn, uh, we're definitely going to be fine, right? Because once we enter the STR phase, while he does hit harder, our units will be able to dodge at that point, which will make this significantly easier. There we go. We get an additional super out of our Kale. And now the more I use this Kefla team, the more I'm mad at myself for not grabbing that dupe uh, with the 400 coins of Kale, because mine is sitting at 55% here still. Um, now, we do have STR Kale and Cauliflower here, so I think STR Kale is the option here for slot one for this turn, um, right? Because she has guard since we have Cauliflower on the rotation, so I'm thinking that's what we do, yeah, perfect. and we just leave this set up, so that way when we enter the STR phase, that they're both, yeah, this will work. Now, yeah, double digits, excellent. So... I mean, the more I use this team, especially with like conditions like how the Kale here needs to have Cauliflower on rotation in order to work, it's really leading me down the path to believe there is a DFE Cauliflower coming sometime soon. There we go. And we get... Alright, we lower some defense. If only she lowered attack, that would be nice. There we go. And of course she eats the super. The only, the weakest one on the rotate. Ooh, yeah. So that's the kind of thing that's going to get us hurt. All right. But the nice thing is we do have Vados on the next rotation who can get us a heal. But, I mean, we didn't want to waste that this early. There we go. And we get the additional super with the friend Kale. Now, this is a rainbow friend, so... We should be seeing a lot more power out of her compared to our 55% one. Nice. Alright, here we go. So we get the transformation into Super Saiyan Kefla. Now, again, the, the great thing about the Kefla here is that she raises attack infinitely. Um, so... Even if we only get one or two supers here in the early phases, we'll still be alright simply on the fact... There we go. We'll get a nice little heal here. Uh, simply on the fact that, you know, once we transform, we're still going to be raising an attack. And even more so, right? I think she greatly raises attack uh, once in Super Saiyan 2. There we go. And we get the additional super... Nice. All right. So that takes us into the next phase, and it'll be a little bit... This one should be interesting, because we should be able to transform Kale now to Super, Sa yeah, to Super Saiyan 2. Um, so this is perfect. And then our Cauliflower should dodge, so let's go ahead and let's transform Kale. All right, so... He she really thrives on these AoEs, because it means we don't have to chuck her in slot 1. We can just let her eat one of these AoEs, and then be fine from there. So we're going to put... Cauliflower in slot one, so she can just dodge. She's she's got near 100% chance to dodge here, 
um, on this team because we are using a full Universe 6, full Peppy Gals team. We basically have almost 100% dodge. I think it's just under 100%. There we go. We get the additional normal. There we go, some dodges, excellent. And the great thing about both of these Kale and Cauliflowers is while they're backing attacking defense, even though it's a little slow, it's still combined with their dodge or their guard, it's still enough to tank most hits, but I don't know that we take this very well. Uh, 200k, that's not bad, considering it is a banner unit we're talking about here. There we go. Alright, and of course our Kale is just going to do a bunch of normals here. Why not? Okay, well at least we're tanking. He healed a little more than I wanted him to. There we go. Alright, so now we are in the Super Saiyan 2. Alright. Alright, so let's transform the other Kale here. And I think we just leave her on, yeah? Wow, we do have some bad setups on orbs here, though. I don't think we're going to be able to get the, the key we need for her additionals. Although, if I remember correctly, it is lower here. There we go. Alright, we should eat this. 150k, not bad. Alright, so now we can strike back here a little bit. Perfect. There we go, we get a normal. Okay. Look at that. Kale is just going to go to town. Oh, not Kale. Kefla is going to town here. Here we go. Get another one. Yeah, there we go. 21 million. Very nice. Does that take him out? Yeah, it does. Awesome. Okay, so that brings us into the end phase. Awesome. Okay, so gonna have to rely on a bit of dodge here with the the amount of HP we have left we literally well actually we can live quite a bit here <laughs> um, uh, back to almost three quarters we'll take that but we do need to make sure that everybody is dodging here I don't think we can get tapped by anyone or we lose there we go okay all right so working well here There we go, we get the dodge. Oh yeah, that's what couldn't happen. Okay, dodge, 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 yes. Okay, excellent, we get the dodge on Caulifla. Look at her up to nine million, we take that. Alrighty. Nice. Alright, taking double digits here. Okay, so we really need Vados to dodge here, or we could be in trouble. There we go, we get one dodge. Perfect. Alright, so... Let's grab that. Can we get the... Yes, we get the six. Okay, so we got three supers incoming here. Beautiful, we get the dodge. Alright, and not too bad on our 55%. Okay, cool. I was going to say, we just literally just need her to not take a super here. There we go, we get the additional super. Perfect. Eh, 
And now the fun begins. We got 23 million. Remember, she is greatly raising an attack. And since we did get six key spheres, um, we have the ability to do three supers. So here's 24 million. And here comes 26. Now we also have the potential for the hidden potential super here. There it is, 27 million. You love to see it. Beautiful. Not quite enough to take uh, him down, but close enough. And nobody is taking any more damage, which means I think our tail here ought to be able to finish. Boom. And we get the additional super. There we go. And there you have it. A year ago, I would not have said that this is possible. Heck, even a month ago, I don't even think that this was possible without the aid of units outside of Universe 6. But here we are with a full Universe 6 Epi Gals run against one of the hardest stages on Global Dokkan. You know what? I gotta tell you, I'm very happy about this run. For those who have been around the channel for a while, you know, this is one of my favorite teams to run. It's one of the first videos we did on the channel for a Fun Fridays run. Um, we basically just ran Peppy Gal's Universe 6 versus the Fighting Legend Vegeta. It was one of our earliest videos, and yet here we are are almost a year later running these guys up against the well two years later actually uh running these guys up against the omega shinron and i gotta say this is really fun like i said this that first phase can be kind of tricky depending on your opening rotations but if you can pull through at least to turn two after he's been attacked lowered a little bit this team will pull through to the end as we saw here and i'm very very impressed with kale's um or not Kale, Kefla's easy. Well, all of their easy A's, really. They were handled quite nicely, and I can't wait to try some more events. Stay tuned for the Grand Tour. We got that hour-long Grand Tour coming up here soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So, anyways, guys, that is it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know what did you guys think of Kefla in this video run i am very impressed with this unit i continue to be impressed with this unit and i can't wait to see more of hers let me know what you think in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha